the title As in the Attic, I only ha had g gave it a title because people often say, what's the title of your show? So I had to think of something to say. So I just thought of it whilst I was on the tube once, just As in the Attic. I'm not one of those people who can sit there in February and decide, hmm, my show is going to be themed around otters and it's going to be called The Otter Side or something. And then I'm going to have a photo shoot with me and an otter and then I'd like write an otter show and then within minutes I'd get bored of it and then come up with a new thing. And then I'd be shackled with the otter show and have to go around interviews with people and they'd maybe bring an otter, they'd say, oh, we've gone to a lot of expense to bring a live otter to the interview and can you, and then I'd say, I'm not interested in the otter anymore. And then I'd have to kill the otter live on camera <laughs> and that'd be very bad for my career. But that's why I don't have the title on the poster and keep very quiet about it. I, I would normally not normally tell anyone, but I told you because I like you. People seem to know, they seem to have got used to, uh, they, need, they know what they're coming for. So they're all the right sort of people who come. It's nice. Well, uh, I was having tea with Noel and then he said, I'm going to direct your Edinburgh show. And then, then I tried to persuade him out of it. I said, are you sure? You haven't made a rash decision, but he insisted upon it. Uh, basically, his direction means he sort of sort of encourages me to do more crazy things. In fact, when I was with Noel and we were talking about the show, he said, call it Paul Foot on Toast. And it's just gonna be me talking for an hour about toast. So that, that rant about toast could become the Edinburgh show for next year. Uh, I, I sort of do for something once, then I leave it fallow for maybe three or four years. Actually talking about the future, I'm quite bitter about the future. Well, not the future, the present, but in the past when now was the future they specifically said that in the future it was everything was going to be all plasticky and we we're going to have robots there's been no robots all we have is the internet and broadband not working properly greetings my name is paul foot my show is at 7 40 pm and it's at the underbelly and it's in Edinburgh at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe and it's my show for 2010 and you can go to it.